And so, by 640 AD, Islam had spread into northern Africa, and most African Berbers had converted to the new religion. The religion also spread into northwestern Africa. These Africans were also known collectively as the Moors, and this term was used by Europeans to describe Berber Africans, the Africans of Mali and Niger, and also some Arab immigrants who were a unified group together under the religion of Islam at the time. In early 711 AD, an African Berber named Tariq ibn Ziyad attacked Europe. Tariq ibn Ziyad, who was the governor of the northwestern state of Mauritania, led an army of 7,000 African soldiers and 300 Arabs into southern Spain in Gibraltar and launched a full-scale invasion. They later conquered northern Spain, and by the end of 711 AD, the Moors controlled the entire territory of Spain. Now, the Almoravids were an African Berbers dynasty from north and the northwest of the African continent, also known as the Maghreb. The formation of the Almoravid movement and dynasty can be traced back to a Berber leader named Abdullah ibn Yasin, who was from the state of Morocco in northern Africa. After the death of Abdullah ibn Yasin, his brother Abu Bakr took control, and in 1061 AD, a cousin of Abu Bakr named Yusuf ibn Tashifin became the leader of the Almoravid dynasty and founded the city of Marrakesh in Morocco. Yusuf ibn Tashifin was from the Sanhaja tribe, which was one of the largest at the time in northern Africa. The Sanhaja tribe were located in modern-day Morocco, northern Niger, and Algeria. Yusuf ibn Tashafin was eventually married to Zainab and Nafzawiya, who was one of the wealthiest women in the region and was rumored to converse with jinns, which were spiritual beings. She would go on to give birth to two sons with Yusuf ibn Tashafin. Yusuf ibn Tashafin went on to expand the territory that the Almoravids controlled across Algeria and Morocco in northern Africa. He soon controlled the cities of Telemsen in northwestern Algeria, Fez in northern Morocco, and Tangier in northwestern Morocco. Now the Moors had been located in Spain since they conquered the region in 711 AD, which they now called Al-Andalus. However, the Spanish did, from time to time, engage in battles with the Moors and also amongst themselves. Due to some Spanish resistance, the Moors requested military support from Africa in early 1085 AD. Later, in 1085 AD, Yusuf ibn Tashafin assisted the African and Arab Muslims located within Spain against the armies of Alfonso VI of Castile who was a Spanish king. The Kingdom of Castile was located in northern Spain, and its name was derived from numerous castles located in the region. In 1086 AD, Yusuf ibn Tashafin and his forces engaged in direct conflict with the Spanish at the Battle of Sagrajas, which began on the 23rd of October, 1086 AD. The battleground was later called as Zalaka, which in English means slippery ground. The name derived from the large quantity of blood produced from this intense battle. Alfonso VI of Castile arrived at the battle with an army of 2,500 men, including 750 knights and 1,500 cavalry. It was at this point that Yusuf ibn Tashafin offered three options to the Spanish. They could agree to peace and pay an annual tax named the Jizra, or they could join the Africans and Arabs in the religion of Islam, or they could engage in war. 
Alfonso VI of Castile decided on the third option, a choice that would prove to be fatal.